Hi guys, this is Michael from the Piano Technician Academy, and this video is about different finishes on pianos. So what the most common finish you're going to see in newer pianos is polyester. This is what we have right here. So this is a brand new Zeiler from Germany. This is a polyester finish. It's a high gloss um, black finish. Now they make polyester for black. You can have a walnut piano, mahogany, white. Um, it's kind of everything now. It used to be lacquer, which is what this is. So this is a leg from an old uh, Baldwin, and this is a lacquer finish. It's also a satin finish. So there's kind of a yin and a yang with both different options. Polyester is very, very hard. So it's a lot harder to damage, but when you do damage it, it's a lot more expensive to repair because there's not a lot of people that work with poly. Now lacquer, there's a lot more people that work with lacquer. You know, anybody who does any kind of touch up on furniture can also work on piano touch up because it's just lacquer. Um, but you'll notice a lot of times with concert pianos, they're satin black instead of gloss black. And the reason is, is because with satin black, it's 10 times easier to fix it when you damage it. And in concert settings, a lot of times pianos get bumped or moved or scratched or something. With the satin black piano that's sprayed in uh, lacquer, how they do this is, like you can see, this is a satin finish. But when this piano was refinished or finished for the first time, it was a gloss black lacquer and they rub it out with steel wool and that's what gives it this kind of matte finish. And the perk of this is, say I scratch this, you can see there's damage all over this leg. What we can do here is we can fill it with a filler, some kind of wood filler, um, Bondo, or people are using super glue now, anything to make it completely smooth. And then we can flash it with a rattle can of like a gloss black lacquer and then rub it out with steel wool and we're done. And the piano looks brand new, that finish looks brand new. But this is a lot easier to damage than a polyester finish. Over here, we have a poly piano. This finish is way harder to damage, but when you do damage it, it's a lot more expensive. Now they do make satin black polyester as well. So if I were to take a four-aught steel wool, say, and start rubbing this finish, it would turn satin just like that leg. The difference is this underneath is actually polyester. So it's a lot harder to uh, damage but now that it's satin, it makes it a lot easier for us to repair. Um, satin allows us, so imagine if I just took a hammer and just made a big chip right there, and then I had to go back in and fix this on a polyester piano. We would still fill that chip, and then we would flash it with probably lacquer, to be honest, a lot of times, and then we would start to rub it out and give it this satin finish. And because it's satin, our edges of the damage are gonna fade a lot better. On a glass piano, it's a lot harder to get that damage to disappear completely. Um, and there are people that do that. Um, I work in a piano store and our guy here is really, really good at that. And a lot of times you can't even tell that um, the piano has been repaired at all, but it's a very, very finite niche of people that know how to fix polyester. But those are the two most common finishes on the outside of pianos. If you guys have any other questions about piano finishes or anything about piano related, please feel free to contact us. Um, at pianotechnicianacademy.com. Thanks for watching, guys.